It is that time of the year again when we speak about planned giving and it is hard to believe that this is the second address on the subject during COVID. What an impact this pandemic has had on our lives and we remain amazed at our resilience and our overwhelming faith that things will get better in what can only be described as very challenging times. When it comes to finances, COVID has without doubt had a major impact on many churches, ourselves included. Our revenue has dropped over the last financial year, but the good news is that we have broken even. This is largely due to the fact that the Archdiocese reduced our monthly levy, although it is something that we cannot rely on indefinitely. Of course, the expenses of a parish do not really decrease in a pandemic, and we are happy to report that we have been able to meet all our obligations, including paying all our staff salaries during the year. As always, we would like to thank each and every one of you for your continued financial support. It may seem that we take it for granted at times, but we can assure you we are truly grateful for the generosity of all our parishioners, all our visitors, and all those who participate in our streaming services every weekend. We would also like to thank you for the support of our outreach, in particular the Food Parcel Challenge, which we have donated in excess of 288,000 Rand to three parishes in the diocese. It is truly a blessing that we were able to help those who are in greater need than ourselves. Which brings me to Plan Giving 21-22, and this year our request is very straightforward. If you are currently contributing, please continue to do so. We'd also love you to contribute more if you can, of course. If you haven't yet contributed via the Plan Giving campaign, well now may be as good a time as any to begin. We really do need you to participate. All contributions are deemed strictly confidential and are only seen by the Plan Giving Confidential Secretary and, when necessary, by the parish priest. And this year, we would like to extend a special invitation to all our parents to start a conversation with your children on this important topic. There is a point when our children will be able to contribute themselves, and it is so critical when, the time, when that time comes that they want to make a financial contribution. This can only happen if they have a healthy understanding of the need and their responsibility. What better place to learn it than from their parents? Practically, there are several ways at St. Michael's that you can give. Our preferred way is by stop order or EFT as it is the safest and most consistent for us. Secondly, via SnapScan or PayFast via our website. And lastly, by cash, either as you exit the church after Mass or by delivery to the parish office. Details of these options are available on our website and in the weekly digital bulletin. While receiving the actual contribution is the most important part of the exercise, we do have a request. If we know how much you budget or plan to contribute in the next year, then we can budget and plan much better ourselves. Otherwise, we literally walk in the dark. Please, would you let us know what you plan to pledge? You can do so by either completing a pledge form, which is available at the back of the church, and placing it in the grey box, or completing the form that will either be attached to this email or which will be sent to everyone on our mailing list. Alternatively, you can email Dee in the parish office and she will send you the form to complete and return. Finally, if you are new to the parish and have not yet registered as a parishioner, please do so via the website or email D in the parish office. Once again, on behalf of Father Harry, your deacons, Les and Tony, the parish council and the finance committee, we thank you for your generosity to St. Michael's and we wish you good health and safety as we navigate the times ahead.